we know the difficulties as designers in getting the right image to use for your design it is a struggle so welcome back to the channel in today's video we'll be talking about how to use google labs image fx for image generation and if you don't know what google image fx is this is a ai generation tools whereby it turns your ideas that's your text to like visuals it generates it to visuals so google labs does not offer only image generation they also have uh, a platform it's on that same google labs it offers like you can generate music you can generate uh, videos you can also animate your videos on it but today we're focusing solely on image effects so how do you access image effects you just have to need a google account just sign in and mind you google apps is not available for every country if it is not available for your country i would advise you to use a vpn to access it and you can use it so just have a google account sign in and you're ready to like whip up magic i'm going to show you my screen in a second this is what you have when you get into the labs.fx you have like the whisk you have flow to generate video this is images you are coming to so you're going to launch image fx so when you launch image fx this is where it's going to take you to it's going to just take you to where you can set your prompt uh your model the aspects aspect ratio and any further settings you might like so this is where the, the trick comes in because with all these ai tool you need to know how to use your prompt well like prompting engineering is a thing so say for example you needed uh okay let's go to my library and pick one and use one as an example so this is my library i like that stuff let me on the general light so this is like um, my let's use this as an example this image of this uh lady my prompt was a black young woman captured mid smile conveying genuine happiness and warmth her facial expression is warm and happiness she's wearing a grip colored scrub with red undertones subtly texture her hair is styled in tight braids the lightning is a soft diffuse light she is framed in a waist of portrait you see how detailed this uh, prompt is for me to get what i want so one thing i used here is to use chat gpt for prompting so i get a reference image and drag it into chat gpt and i ask chat gpt to like describe the intricate details to describe everything about that picture to tell me the uh, lighting that is used in that picture the, the style of portrait the style of uh, photography like is it close up is it waist is it just from top to the shoulder is it like from waist up portrait chat gpt will break that prompting down for me generate that prompting for me Notice that the ChatGPT prompt is going to give you like a very in-depth prompt. So let, let me go to my ChatGPT so you can see what I'm saying. Let me. Yes, this is my ChatGPT history. I put it there. That can you? I attached the image and I and I said, can you describe this image in extreme complexity using the parameter subject matter, the focus, primary focus of the person? So I kind of got this prompt. I don't know where I got this prompt from. Maybe from a group or somebody tweeted it. I don't know. So it covers the subject matter, the object that's uh, element in the video. So if there's like a background plant in the background is going to pick it up so it, the colors used as the color palette is it a warm tone is it a cool tone color the lightning used. so is the lightning direct is this what's the source of light number one is it like a studio light is it like natural sunlight is the the direction of the lighting also matters so like i have my own um light at angle 90 for me and i also have one ahead of me overhead me so these are things you will pick up then i also have composition the mood the atmosphere what's the general feeling and the style so that i will put the prompt in the description so you can just copy and paste it and it's going to give you a a full analysis of it the lightning the composition the mood and all of that stuff the clothes that she's that the person is wearing and it's, it's going to be a lot so you can't just copy everything and paste it this is where you just have to just you know use your um your sixth sense i don't know what to call it the next thing i'm going to do is to go to free pick to download the reference photo for the image we're going to be generating using image fx so i'm just going to download this picture and i'm going to like bring it into chat gbt so this is the picture that i have chosen so we are in chat gbt i've downloaded that picture from um what's it called free pick i think it's a free picture but this is what you do if you want a stock photo and the photo is like premium just screenshot it grab it or anything bring it here upload it add a prompt so this prompt sometimes i don't use it in total entirety because what i want to do is sometimes what i want to generate might not be that deep and maybe this is just you know but this is just that i've added it describe the image and all that stuff and let's see what chat gpt gives us oh it's already ger generating um the answers the first subject matter is an african american young woman she's captured close up portrait particularly her smile expression is joyful blah 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 the object it, it describes a earring 
the color of the clutch is wearing and the lightning. So this is what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to copy and paste some of the things I want to, to generate. So I'm going to copy the subject is an African-American young woman. So put it there. Okay, I'll just put a African-American, a young African-American woman. She's captured up close. Oma. Oh, Alfred. Two thousand years later. So we have our prompt now. So I've kind of like scaled it down to a young African, a young African American woman captured in a close-up portrait that emphasizes her face facial features, particularly her smile. She's wearing a red and gold earring that has a combination of circular gold elements with a red tassel-like texture adding movement. She's wearing a high neck mustard yellow bag, yellow neck blouse with unique design elements, pleats, blah, blah, blah. Her expression is joyful and inviting with her eyes slightly squinting in a natural expressive manner. She's a voluminous black coil air frames her face. The lightning is a soft diffused studio light in a frontal direction the composition is a tight portrait style crop so this is kind of a lot i usually don't like you know do this do this i said that across details but this is what it is so let's just eat create and see what we have aha uh -huh. guys see what we have here see what we have here aha uh -huh. this is beautiful how can i enlarge these pictures but let me download it so that we can see it. Typically, I have four options. And again, if you want to like further um, tweak this thing, this is, you can see there's a lot of um, more settings. You can tweak your settings. If maybe you want to like, you know, you have a particular lens in mind. Maybe you can put like a 35mm film. This is settings in the background. If you want landscape ratio, you can change your, your ratio to like portrait, mobile portrait. Uh, 1960 that is instagram story size you square size your quality obviously has to be like best quality and uh yeah so let's see the images that we generated you see that uh, this image okay, let me go to my it kind of caught our head off this is the original image that we use as our reference it caught off our head i don't know why it caught off our head so let's fix that guys i figured out why the image keeps getting cut off at her head or her hair so what i went on to do in the rest of this video was try to like edit the prompt like change it from oh close up portrait style to like oh from head to waist but it kept getting cut off even the next one i generated like about two of it was cut off the one i was in cut off showed her hair but her hair was still cut off so the problem was that my aspect ratio was in landscape so when I change my aspect ratio to like 916, that's Instagram story size, portrait size, it, it gave me the full image I want. I, I'll just attach it on the screen. It gave me all these pictures, like her hair was in frame, everything was complete and it was just so good. I just wasted the many minutes try, trying to just, you know, figure it out. But later I just got to that. Oh my God, this is my, it's my aspect ratio. So this is something you also have to keep in mind when you're generating certain kind of images that you really need, like maybe the full body, you need the hair and it's getting cut up. Check your settings, make sure that your ratio is set to the correct um, ratio that you want. And I just had fun. I was just generating some other images that I'll just put on screen here. And yeah, one thing I won't like, I like about this is like, the image that is generated is even like a little bit finer than the original. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying this, but yeah. I mean, I just like this image effects because it's like, I don't know, will I say original? I, I know it's not original because they also, they fed it some, you know, data, but yeah. So that would just be it, guys. You also do the same if you want to like generate a background. If you see something that you like, and you want to incorporate into your design just go to ChatGPT, chat deep seek any one of the ai tools you use for reasoning so ask it to like describe it and you know one, once it describes it bring your description and put it into image effects and it's going to generate it for you so just know that it might not be like perfect we still have to like tweak it take it to photoshop tweak it you know cut it up because it's an image so you can still have to like you know 
expand some things expand some things so there you have it you can take these images using photoshop canva illustrator wherever design software you use and that will just be it for this video i hope you found it useful if you found it useful please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next tutorials thank you bye